On the 3rd of January 2024, in a surprise announcement, Sri Lankan President Ranil Wickremesinghe revealed the country's decision to join international efforts against the Houthis in Yemen with the deployment of vessels to the Red Sea. Houthi rebels, who control large swaths of Yemen, have launched missile attacks on vessels passing through the Red Sea, demanding an end to the Israeli attacks on Palestine. Their main targets are commercial ships linked to the US and Israel, and the Houthis carry out these attacks using drones and missiles. Attacks by the Houthis on commercial ships in the Red Sea have disrupted the region's crucial shipping activity, including the primary route for vessels entering the Mediterranean Sea through the Suez Canal. This disruption has prompted some ships to reroute their journeys, opting for the longer but safer passage around South Africa. The US-led operation Prosperity Garden is already underway and covers a wider area than just the Red Sea, encompassing the Arabian Sea and the Gulf of Oman. India has already deployed six warships as part of this initiative. Sri Lanka's planned deployment aligns with these efforts to support the US-led Operation Prosperity Garden that is also supported by India. Recently, the head of Yemen's Houthi Supreme Revolutionary Committee issued a stark warning, stating that any country associating with the United States-led Red Sea Coalition risks losing its maritime security and becoming a target. Red Sea Crisis MP Vasudeva Nanaikara stated that Sri Lanka's intervention in this crisis is an attempt to become part of an unnecessary geopolitical issue. Dollar million deshya panhagaane vayakarla. Apye navi kahamudava, apye navak pyavanne. Preparations are being made to send a Sri Lanka Navy ship to the Red Sea at a cost of 250 million. What is this crisis in the Red Sea? Ships linked to Israel and coming from Israel are targeted in these attacks. Other ships are not. The US and Europe have decided to act to prevent those attacks. However, does Sri Lanka have a massive naval force to be able to deploy vessels at a cost of 250 million for two weeks and intervene in this? Is this not the responsibility of nations with larger naval forces? In addition, against whom are these attacks carried out? Why should we be afraid of this? The State Defence Minister reportedly said that it is a global responsibility. You have a local obligation ahead of an international one. That is about the famine in the country. <laughs> Red Sea Crisis Paffrell voiced concerns regarding the apparent discrepancy between the government's claims of financial limitations and its commitment to an international security intervention. We are to spend millions for the security of an international sea. These are public funds. At a time when people are battered by poverty and taxes, we have concerns over the use of public funds. If the state has funds for such purposes, why can't they use those funds to secure the people's democratic right to vote? It is clear that the government has no regard for democracy.